Hello. Good morning, sir. Good morning, all. Good morning. Rupi, sir, you can start with the introduction, sir. Yes. Good morning, one and all present here for the NPTEL Awareness Online Workshop in association with Bharti Vidya Peet Deemed University, Pune. Bharti Vidya Peet Deemed University, Pune is a multidisciplinary, multi-state university established by Honorable Founder Dr. Patang Raoji Kadam Sahib. Today's online workshop is hosted by Bharti Vidya Peet Institute of Management, Kolhapur. It is established in the year of 1994. Before 2005, it was affiliated to Sivaji University, Kolhapur. From 2005 onwards, it is the constituent unit of Bharti Vidya Peet Deemed University, Pune. It is a local chapter of NPTEL SWAM since December 2019, established under the guidance of Dr. Rajesh Kantesar, the director of the institute. Being spoke of the local chapter and in behalf of Bharti Vidya Peet Deemed University, Pune, and Bharti Vidya Peet Institute of Management, Kolhapur, I take this, I Professor Nirpais, take this opportunity to welcome the expert team of NPTEL. <coughs> Kamala Madam, Pridarsani Madam, Dibya Madam from IIT Madras, Bharti Madam and her team from IIT Bombay. I would like to welcome the dignitaries of the university, Dr. Sivaji Rao Kadam sir, Chancellor of Bharti Vidya Peet Deemed University, Pune, Dr. Biswajit Kadam sir, Pro Vice Chancellor of Bharti Vidya Peet Deemed University, Deemed to be University, Pune, Dr. Vivek Saoji sir, Vice Chancellor Bharti Vidya Peet Deemed to be University, Pune, Dr. S.F. Patil sir, Dr. Kirti madam from IQAC cell Bharti Vidya Peet Deemed University, Pune, Dr. Sajin Vainekar sir, Dean Management Studies Bharti Vidya Peet Deemed University, Pune. I would like to welcome today's guest, Dr. K. Malaskar sir, Head of the Department Computer Application Bharti Vidya Peet Institute of Management, Kolhapur. He is a renowned academician and researcher. He has published various research publications and published various pa patents. Welcome you, sir. I welcome the teaching faculty and students presented here through YouTube live session. Today's session is having following agenda that to be covered. Establishment of local chapters in various institutes Courses offered by NPTEL under SWAM MOOC, credit transfer policy as suggested by UGC, AICT and higher educational authority under NEP 2020, credit deposition in academic bank of credit as suggested by NEP 2020. Moving ahead. I would like to invite Professor Dr. K.M. Alaskar sir to give a brief on BVDU, Bharti Vidya Peet Deemed University, Pune, and the MOOC adoption policy at Bharti Vidya Peet Deemed University, Pune. Dr. K.M. Alaskar sir, please. Madam, please unmute Dr. K.M. Alaskar sir. Yeah, yeah, I am unmuted. Yeah. Good morning, one and all. Let me welcome again the NPL TL team, local team, as well as the guest from IIT Madras, guest from IIT Mumbai. Let me introduce about Bharti Vidya Pit first. Bharti Vidya Pit is, is founded by Dr. Patangravji Kadam who founded this Bharti Vidya Peet in 1964, 10th May 1964, at a place, Pune, 
where he has started English and mathematics mathematics courses, just to make awareness to the, uh, especially the students, those who are from the background of rural background, especially. Then this seed of Bharti Vidya Pits spread over all over India. We have a branch in Delhi. We have a branch in New Mumbai. We have a branch in Pune, Kolapur, Solapur, Sangli. These are the management institute. Apart from this, we are providing education, imparting education from pre-primary to post-graduation and PhD. More than 175 branches of Bharti Pit spread all over India. Let me come down to Bharti Vidyapit Deemed University. It was established in 1996, 26th April 1996. UGC has accorded a status of deemed university to our Bharti Vidyapit. Now we have 29 constituent units of Bharti Vidyapit Deemed University. Let me come down to our Bharti Vidyapit Deemed University Institute of Management, Kadamadi Kolapur, who is hosting today's NPTEL. Uh, awareness of NPTEL courses. Uh, let me thank first these people and let me thank to our coordinator, uh, Professor Nirpeshko, because he has coordinated and he is working since last two, three years. Bharti Vidyapit Deemed University Institute of Management, we are offering MBA, MCA, BBA and BCA courses. More than 1200 students we have with us. The, the need of this NPTEL, let me, let me clarify this. Uh, last year, we started working on, uh, since last year, based on the new education policy, NEP 2020. Based on this, this year we introduced NEP 2024 BBA, BCA, MBA and MCA. So for these courses, I think for the first semester, apart from the first semester, from the second semester itself, there are some courses, MOOC courses, which are introduced for all courses. So student has to go for, this is my request to the students, especially the students from our institute and the students, those who are joining from other institutes also, it's the compulsory, dear students. This lecture is definitely useful for we people not only for the students, it will be useful for the faculty members also. Why it is necessary? Within within few months, few years, you will find that uh, now last week only we, we uh, come to know that there are UGC has given permission to the other universities, that means foreign universities. Within, after one or two years, you will find that there is, there is no need of a class. There is no need of a college. There is no need of a university. Without university, uh, after all, it is required. But physical existence, it is not necessary because online education will be provided and good uh, universities and good institutions, they are providing such type of a courses. Uh, one of that, uh, the IIT, which is which providing the government of uh, India's one of the renowned institutions, they are provided, providing such type of facilities. Definitely, this will be useful for our students. They will go for, even during my lectures also, I'm, I'm uh, emphasizing our students that go for new courses. Uh, we are teaching according to syllabus. What it is needed in the market, you will get, you will get online. Uh, sometimes the courses are uh, free of charge. Some courses you, which you require to be paid. Uh, like NPTEL courses, you require to be attend course for three months, six months, and you require to be paid 1000 rupees fee only. So definitely this will be useful, very, very useful for our, our students and our faculty members. I again welcome all the, uh, all the guests, those who are present over here, and your lecture will be definitely useful for us. Thank you. Thank you very much. Over to you, Nirpesh. So now I would like to invite the NPTEL local chapter team, IIT Bombay, 
uh, under the guidance of uh, IIT Madras team to move ahead and continue the session. Pridarsini, madam, over to you. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, so uh, many of you may be familiar with this logo. This is the NPTEL logo. Uh, we'll start off with it. So NPTEL is uh, today a lot of initiatives put together. It's not just about creating courses and putting it up on the website, but we have certification, not just certification for one course, but it is uh, also clubbing courses together to make it into a domain. Uh, for faculty, we have FDP courses, which fetch you career points. Then we have internship opportunity for students. We have soft skill training going on for local chapter students and so on. So this is what this presentation will uh, talk about. Okay, so uh, you might have all heard about these two terms, uh, NPTEL and Swayam. So uh, Swayam is a project of the ministry, the government of India, MHRD. And they created this in 2017 and said that all these agencies that you see below, right, uh, IAM Bangalore, UGC, CEC, uh, NCRT, NITR, AICT, they all have to offer courses for certification under Swayam. So NPTEL is also a national coordinator under Swayam. We primarily offer courses in engineering the UG level, the bachelor's level, the MTech ME level, some PhD level courses also. But since we have courses uh, that are there in the management and humanities division inside IITs, we offer that also on NPTEL. NPTEL also coordinates with some institutes like the ICERS to offer, uh, say, the physics, chemistry, mathematics courses. We work with the IIITs. We work with National Law School Bangalore. We work with some medical institutions to offer medical related courses. So uh, maybe 90% of our courses will be engineering related humanities management and 10% is something else we help. So uh, NPTEL comes under Swayam and we coordinate this primarily. There are other agencies also. So one thing to remember when you are going to swayam.gov.in and you try to enroll to any course or you try to join any course, please check whether the national coordinator is NPTEL if you want to join the NPTEL course. Because if you just search for, say, a database management systems course, right, maybe there is some other college also offering it with somebody else's coordinating. So the course name that we offer will also be database management system. Theirs will also be that possibly. So how do you actually differentiate if it's an NPTEL course? On every course card, we will have a logo of NPTEL. I'll show it to you when we come there. But you can check that and then you can join the course. OK, that is something that you have to look out for. OK, uh, NPTEL started in 2003. The vision mission that we have had is to uh, record the content that is being taught to IIT students and put it out for anybody to watch and view so that nobody can say, I didn't get a chance to prepare for IITs. I am not in the IITs today. I cannot get access to their knowledge, to their teaching. Uh, hence, you know, I am denied this opportunity. Nobody can say that. Today, more than 2,000 courses we have in our repository. You can go there and you can actually access the courses for free. You can just go there. You can scroll. You can watch all the videos. We have more than 50,000 hours of video in our website. You can access all that for free. There is no charge. There is no free a fee at all to access our content okay there's somebody who's asking is NPTEL useful for students of LLB so National Law School Bangalore NLSIU is offering uh, two courses I think in uh, Jan I don't know if we have in July we had two courses I think and more are coming in that so specific to law we do have a couple of courses IIT Kharagpur has a law department so from there we have some courses coming in but otherwise you can access the general courses that we have also say on uh, management or English, those might be useful to you. Yeah. So whenever you think of a website, right, what really uh, do you look out for? Say how many people access that website? 
how many how much content do we have in a youtube also whenever we go to and watch a youtube video or a youtube channel one of the things we look at is how many people have watched that video or how many subscribers are there in that channel correct so this is the nptel statistics we have more than 1.3 billion views of the nptel videos okay so this is like huge huge for a technical channel which has no entertainment you can't call nptel videos as entertainment there is no song and dance or something it's all faculty from the iits iisc teaching serious stuff there and for that we have more than 1.3 billion views we have 37 lakh subscribers on our youtube channel so any of you has not subscribed to our channel today i think i would say you're missing out on something go to our youtube channel subscribe for our updates so that you get it go to our social media handles subscribe to our uh, social media handles so that you get the latest updates from nptel and this is where uh, we are today as of nptel okay so these are what we do at nptel today and if you do an nptel course what is the use of it so the very first point is credit transfer i was just talking to dr satish also about it and said that maybe we should try to see whether students can get credit transfer for the courses that you do from nptel but yes even if you don't get credit transfer i think you get a lot of knowledge from nptel courses uh, for instance say what are the kind of courses we have that we would recommend to students in your college correct so we will say that we have a lot of programming courses so we have programming in c c++ python java programming and all that so if you are say a bsc physics student or a ba english student maybe a bcom student as part of your uh, program in the college you would not be learning programming possibly so you can go to nptel you can learn the programming course you can learn a bit of programming and also get that certificate along with your program wherever you go today to any company you want they use some kind of a database they will have some kind of coding that is there they will have some kind of software they are using for uh, in within their company it's good for you all to know at least something about it okay that is the first part the other thing okay what are the other courses we have that is useful for you if you are planning for higher education you want to go in for a masters degree supposing you want to strengthen your fundamentals your foundations you want to maybe do some more courses from other institutes so that you are confident when you are attending interviews those courses will be available on nptel so we have all the ug undergraduate courses you can go through that you don't even have to write the exam for each of these courses you can just go through the videos you can try solving problems you can watch many videos try to get knowledge from it and strengthen your foundation so if you're going for higher education i would say the courses are really useful so first thing i'll say try something like programming courses then you go in for higher education probably you want to try and strengthen your fundamentals the third thing try to learn something that is of interest to you which you possibly cannot learn otherwise for instance we have courses on german language teaching you german teaching you japanese teaching you sanskrit so if you want to learn any of these you can come to nptel and learn so for instance german is taught only by maybe the goethe institute and maybe some other institutes here the same course is taught but it is free for you and if you want a certificate you can write the exam but otherwise too you can learn the german language for free same thing you can learn japanese language why are these useful maybe you go to a company that has branches say in germany japan they have opportunities for people to go there but you need to know the language so at that point this becomes very useful for you so you can try to learn other languages also through nptel courses okay maybe you're technically very strong you have good foundations you have good knowledge in your particular program but maybe your english is not very good hence you are not confident about speaking we have a lot of courses like soft skills development soft skills enhancement how to attend an interview the body language that you have to have when attending an interview uh, interpersonal communication skills leadership skills so we have a lot of courses like this that you can also go through it will give you a lot of tips on how to present yourself how to ready yourself for such situation so that having the knowledge you can also be confident when you talk to somebody and you are presenting or being in an interview so that's another set of nptel courses that we have as part of what we offer 
So anybody who wants to learn, I think should be able to get at least two or three courses of their interest that they can join and learn. Joining is free, like I said, there is no fee at all. It is all completely free and you can watch it. There are no live classes. These are all recorded lectures. So you can watch at your convenience. If your college day, uh, college time is say 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. or something, in the evening you have time, you can sit and watch NPTEL lectures. On Saturday, Sunday, you can watch it. There'll be one assignment every week. You have to solve the assignment and you have to submit it. For that also, you get 10 days of time. So you can watch the lectures. You can try solving the assignment. Maybe a couple of you friends are joining the same course. You can all sit together. You can learn from each other. You can solve together. Take help from your teachers. And you can do the NPTEL courses. So there is no such thing as there'll be live lectures. Maybe you'll miss a few lectures because you have college or something. It is all video lectures along with assignment. Okay. So the first part is credit transfer and learning from our courses. Apart from it, if you do very well, maybe we should go to next slides. Yeah. So this is the credit transfer. I don't want to discuss too much about this because uh, we, I think uh, your university doesn't have credit transfer. So I'll skip this slide. And uh, so uh, credit transfer, just as a piece of information for maybe the faculty who are out here, IITs do do credit transfer from NPTEL courses. We do it at the BTEC level. We do it at the master's level for PhD working professionals. For them to get credit transfer also, we do it. So IITs also do credit transfer from NPTEL courses. It is not just the outside uh, colleges that have to do it. We ourselves do credit transfer from uh, NPTEL courses. Okay, yeah. Uh, this is an important thing, I would say. So we have a program by which the toppers in the courses actually get internship opportunity with the faculty in the IITs. So whoever has offered that course, they take in normally about two, three, five interns during summer or winter if you are a topper in the course. So if you do a course very well and you become a topper in the certification course, then we give you an opportunity to intern with the faculty. So we are trying to scale up these numbers. COVID uh, hit us also, so we could not get them. But we hope it will be at least 200, 300 students who can intern at the IITs with the faculty. So this is a wonderful opportunity for you to come and stay, uh, you know, in the city, uh, be in the IIT Madras or IIT Kanpur or IIT Kharagpur or IIT Bombay lab. You get to interact with the faculty members there. You interact with their PhD scholars there. You can do all of this, which will be wonderful if you're especially thinking about going for higher studies. You'll get the idea of what is done in these institutes. I think it's a, a really good opportunity for students outside of the IITs to come in and experience the IITs here. So there is internship. Then we also do soft skill training. So uh, there are many colleges who provide it on their own, but there are also some colleges who do not have this training for their students. So if uh, college students in local chapters, uh, they participate in NPTEL courses, then for those students, we are providing soft skill training. So this training is of two types. We do a one week training or we do a two week training depending on how much time the student can spare and the college also wants the students to do. So here we have group discussion practice. We ask you to write your resume and we give input on the resume. We ask you all to present about yourselves, give feedback about how you should talk, where you should look, your body language and so on. And there are also a one on one, like every student will get half an hour with a trainer to discuss about how they should also do. So the right side photo you see, is a one on one where we do mock interviews. We try to uh, simulate an interview and see how you're responding and then give feedback on how you should do better in your interview. So we do soft skill training for students who do NPTEL courses. So this is something that we do from NPTEL again. If you look at numbers, we have finished uh, soft skill training for more than 2000 students currently. And we are doing about 10 colleges a month and we hope to scale it up. So if you're, uh, I don't know if Pedapalli College has done it, but yes, we can extend it to y'all also and we can get it done. Okay, uh, so there's a seven or 14 day training program that I was talking about next. Okay, so somebody was asking, uh, will we get jobs uh, with uh, these NPTEL courses? How is it helpful to us and so on? When we do surveys of NPTEL students and where they have gotten placed, 
these are the companies that they have got in place so far this is like some of the companies are um, it's not all the companies that they've gotten place for but they have said that the npdel courses have really helped them when they went for the interviews when they show a certificate to the interviewer and say i did a course with the iits i got so much marks in that course it really does help in the job interview so those people also ask questions on that assuming you've studied well and you can answer it will definitely help you that outside of the college syllabus you have done something more to learn and skill yourself also companies approach us and ask us do we have students in particular areas that we can send them their resumes so we also collect resumes of students on our side and if they are interested we send these out to the companies and the companies call them for interviews go through their uh, levels of recruitment and we have been able to place npdel students from our side also in some companies so we are still working on it i hope this will increase we are talking with more companies on this front but otherwise even if you have like two or three courses from npdel and the certificates for it i think it will be hugely useful because of the logos we put on the certificate okay yeah the next one uh, there are a lot of uh, students learners faculty who do multiple courses with us there are people who do uh, the courses maybe uh, you know they do three courses in a semester four courses in a semester they are toppers in two or three courses every semester there are people who have done a lot of courses with us i'll maybe show you the data in the next one but this is another type of recognition we give to npdel learners so you can go to npdel website and at the top we have a link called npdel stars so click on that link click on any of this you will see how many people are actually doing multiple courses with us so if uh, students are thinking oh i don't have time and i'm so busy i can't do it you should just see to uh, see these pages to see how come these people who are working professionals who are students in colleges just like you or who are maybe you know uh, uh, studying or faculty or something how are they able to get the time to do so many courses if they can get the time i think anybody can get the time right you just have to manage your time on when you are going to study and not waste time on something else that is not important etc so this page i would say please go and see so these are the kind of uh, domain scholars superstars uh evangelists and all we have uh we have more than about 3000 as i can just calculate on the fly that we are going to have these people doing multiple courses and they are npdel stars with us today uh so there is something called domain certification that we have currently come up with in the last two years so what is a domain right so a domain we have created uh just to club courses together and maybe about five or six courses we have put together and we say that if you study this uh, six courses and you get more than 60 in the course in each course not just pass it by getting a 40 then you get a domain scholar certificate so why is this important this is important because it shows that you have specialized in a particular area so for instance we have a programming domain so in the programming domain we have courses such as c uh, c++ python uh, database management course and then maybe uh, cloud computing course and so on so if you do a programming domain right and you do all the six courses it shows that you have a solid foundation in this particular area so when you go for an interview and you actually show a domain certificate versus just one or two certificates from us that will make more of an impact on the interviewing person so this is something we recommend it is more just to guide students on what to study to become uh, to become and specialize in one particular area we found that many npdel learners do four or five courses but they do random courses that are not connected to each other so this uh, domain will guide you in what to study if you want to specialize in a particular area we have about 53 domains today in all branches of engineering management english and for faculty we have a faculty domain basic and advanced also so that you can also go through that part of it so you can go to our website there are more details on domains there uh, you can we can talk about it later too okay
Yeah, so these are some of the domains we have. So for you, it might be relevant. The English studies, we have a domain. Psychology, we have a domain. Management, we have it in marketing, operations, uh, patents and intellectual property in economics. And of course, engineering uh, and all, we have a couple of uh, domains. So uh, if you're a general student, uh, not an engineering student, I would recommend the programming domain for you. If you want to try out something, do the programming domain or do the management domain that will be really useful for you. So if you're an engineering student, of course, you can try any of the domains relevant in your particular discipline or engineering, or you can do a cross discipline. So for instance, I'm a maybe mechanical engineer. I like electrical engineering. You can actually do the courses in electrical engineering and you can get a domain from there. So here, nobody stops you and says, hey, you're in mechanical engineering department. You cannot study electrical engineering, say power systems course, power electronics course. You are not allowed to study that. There is no such thing like that. Anybody can study any course as long as you can cope with it. So you can also do a cross department study by doing domains from any of what is listed here. Uh, this is what a domain certificate looks like. We give this, we list all the courses you have done and we uh, assign it out, of course, from the specific IIT that we are giving it from. So how do we do lab courses? Is it online? Uh, not really. We do it in the institutes. We do it in various institutes such as uh, ISERS, IIT. You can come here. You can stay for a week at the institute. You can do the lab experiments. You can listen to faculty giving one or two lectures in the day and then do a lab exam and take a certificate. So what is the advantage of this? You will get to see really modern labs. You will get to see what the state of the art labs are in these institutes. You can see the equipment that is there, the modern equipment that is there. You can see the advanced research that is happening here. You can interact and get explained on all this equipment. So we had very successful uh, labs being run at all these places. This is a wonderful opportunity. Again, if you do the theory course in NP10, those people, we will permit that you can apply and come for these lab certification courses and you can do the workshops here. Okay. So that was the idea behind the question we asked you. What else do we do at NPTEL? This is for faculty in colleges. So faculty in colleges under the AICT scheme, we explicitly have an MOU with them where NPTEL advanced courses, if you do and pass, you will get uh, an AICT approved FDP certificate. So that is for faculty in AICT colleges. For those under the UGC scheme, they have given a broad guideline that if you do an, uh, uh, Swayam courses, there will be some career progression points, but uh, the actual logistics, I'm not sure you'll have to check within your, <coughs> sorry, university. So that is something that is there. But uh, we see that more than about uh, 20, 30,000 faculty write our exams every semester and most of them apply for the FTP certificates also. This is very, very useful for faculty, I will say. Because you don't have to spend money, you don't have to take leave, you don't have to miss your college work and go to some institute, stay for a week or stay for 10 days and then do an FDP course. You can do the FDP course online itself, just like the students. You join for free on Swayam portal, you go through the course, submit assignments, and then you pay the thousand rupees and attend the final exam and get your certificate. Once you get your certificate, you can apply for the FDP certificate to us and get that too. That's all it takes to do an FDP course with us today. So this is very important for faculty. I hope this is clear. This is what the FDP certificate looks like. You can see that it has the signature of the uh, director from AICT also. There is a regulation under which they have approved this, the AICT logo is there. So this you can present when you are going in for your uh, promotion interviews, right? The conversion that they do is a four week NPTEL course is equivalent to half FDP of one week. An eight week NPTEL course is a full FDP of one week and a 12 week course is equivalent to one and a half weeks FDP equivalent. So this is the equivalence of it. Okay. Yes. The next thing I wanted to talk about was gate coaching. So we have started a new uh, link on our website and uh, somebody has given us CSR money. 
for developing this and uh, uh, providing whatever uh, i wouldn't call it coaching but yes gate preparation whatever we can help students with to have and prepare for gate exams free again we are trying to do from our side so you can go here and we have given uh, solutions to all the previous gate questions we have given uh, videos uh, solving those questions we have uh, uh, extra questions that are coming up practice questions that will be coming up small courses linking all the videos that are relevant to gate so we will be coming up phase 1 is only over phase 2 and phase 3 we will be coming up within the next 6 months so keep watching this uh, uh, link on npdel website if you are preparing for the gate exam okay that is one new initiative we have come up with the next initiative exams outside of india so till uh, 2020 we were doing exams only in india where you have to go to a center and you have to write it and then we got a lot of requests from uh, people outside of india saying they also study from nptel courses and they want to write exams with us so now we help to do that also people outside india can also write exams nptel exams and get certificates from us okay yeah so uh, translation is the next effort so for people who are asking in what languages do we offer courses uh, the faculty teach only in uh, english uh, for now uh, but the english transcripts we translate into eight languages so we do uh, tamil telugu malayalam kannada hindi gujarati uh, bengali and marathi so that's the languages that we are translating it into so telugu we have a lot of uh, transcripts that are translated into telugu language so the faculty will talk in english but you can also read what we have translated in telugu or tamil or hindi whatever is your language and you can understand it better we are keeping the videos in english so that you also learn english because when you go to work somewhere english will be the primary language you have to communicate in so this is something we are doing uh one or two courses we are getting in regional language for instance this time in january we are doing a machine learning uh course in tamil language the faculty is going to teach in tamil language there is a signals and systems course that is coming out in hindi language in july semester we are getting an r programming course in hindi language so only two or three we have most are in uh, english we don't have too many other language courses so that's something you can check uh let me take a question from the chat there are one or two saying i am from commerce background i am from bcom what courses we can take so for bcom students we do have a lot of uh, accounts related courses you can check those out go to management department i'll show you how to filter and learn from it you can go there and you can see how to do it so you can check out management related courses uh, in which we have accounts related commerce economics related courses that's something you can learn or if you are learning all that anyway in your college right i would strongly recommend programming courses for you all learn at least one programming language to know what is programming how do people program whether you write the exam or not i would say please write the exam but yes even if you don't write the exam at least try a course do the assignment see whether you can do something about it or if you're not doing that i would propose the english courses i would propose the uh, you know the german language or the japanese language course that you can learn from those are what we have uh, quite a few for you to choose from i would say more than 100 we would have for bcom uh, level students at least okay yeah uh, so these are translation how many courses we have in each language so in telugu we have 48 courses that are translated for now so that's what we have right okay we have also uh, something called special lecture series so we also have industry people come in and present lectures so these are again free to watch very interesting topics very very distinguished people who come and present lectures these are vice president ceo ctos of companies like ibm cap gemini infosys that we've had in the past ias officers who have come and spoken to us film directors who's come and spoken to us journalist in the hindu a director at hindu entrepreneurs so i would really say you should go and watch these lectures when you have time even if you have missed it last year it's okay but listening to such people is very inspirational you know what they have done 
how they have worked, how they have brought up new companies, how they've started a company, where did they get their idea from? These are all really interesting to listen to. I would say, please go back and listen to some of these lectures. It will give you a tremendous amount of information, knowledge, and maybe there'll be some topic to talk about also. When somebody asks you something, it will widen your knowledge base, okay? This is something that you can see. And if you all are wondering, saying uh, how many students study how many courses, right? Maybe you think some students study only one or two courses and that's all we can do. That's what is useful, right? Look at this. There is one learner who has done 47 NPTEL exams with us. That's as good as a degree program or more than the degree program that all of you are doing. How many courses you all do there? I don't know. Maybe if you're doing a BSc, it's a six into six, maybe 36 courses. Or if it's a BTEC also, if I say six courses per semester, it's about 48. So he's done equivalent to that. Okay. So there is one learner who's done 47 exams, 34 exams, 33 exams, 32 exams, and so on. So you can see maximum people, yes, 5.6 lakhs do one exam, but there are 1.4 lakhs who are doing two exams, 48,000 doing three. And if you look up to 10 exams even, right? A lot of them are doing 10 exams, eight exams with us. So maybe you should think about and plan for how you are going to study, which courses you are going to do as you are in college. And every semester, try to do at least one or two NPTEL courses and finish with a certificate. That will be really nice that you can do that with your college. Okay. This is something we wanted to say. Uh, who are these people who are doing these courses? They are employed. They are faculty members. They are students. All people like you. So it's not like these people come suddenly from somewhere or they are also special. They are so privileged. Nothing like that. They are there in all towns, in all kinds of environment. They also have their constraints, but they are also studying from these courses and doing multiple courses. Okay. This is what the certificate looks like. It has the Swayam logo and it has the... Okay. It has the Impetel logo. This was Swayam logo. Uh, then it has your photo on the certificate. It has, uh, as you can see, the LE tag, the gold medal. We have just put it here to say, if you fall under these categories, you can see all these coming on your certificate. Then uh, the institute. So if IIT Madras offers the course, uh, at the bottom where the institute logo and round is put, you can see IIT Madras uh, logo there. IIT Madras, the name will be put there. Signatures from our side will come and so on. So this is the way that you can see how the certificate looks. We had 20 lakh people who joined our courses in January semester, 20 lakhs who joined our July semester. And in 2021, we had 16 lakhs who joined the Jan semester, 16 lakhs who joined our July semester. So it's not 5,000, it's not 10,000, it's not 1 lakh like I'm seeing on the chat window here, but it is 16 lakhs who was our enrollment number last semester. Out of these exams, those who are written over the last five years, it is 15.1 lakh people have registered for exams with us and they've gotten. So our total enrollment in NPTEL today is 1.58 crores over the last uh, seven years from when we are running this certification project. We have finished 3,500 courses almost and enrollment is 1.58 crores. 15 lakhs exam registration, that's the thing. So you can see how big NPTEL is. NPTEL is not something that we are doing 100, 200, 500 people or something like that. Every semester when we conduct exams in March and April, it's 3 lakh people who write our exams. So that's the uh, level at which we do. We conduct exams all over the country. In about 170 cities, we conduct exams outside India, like we said. So this is our data. So if somebody tells you, uh, okay, I haven't heard of NPTEL. You should really tell them saying that 15 lakh people enroll every uh, semester and 3 lakh people write exams. How come you're missing out? You know, that's the answer I will give them. Okay, uh, you can see a lot of feedback about NPTEL on our social media handles. We keep regularly posting about it. We are uh, present on Instagram, on Facebook, on YouTube community. And you can see all the feedback that we have posted there about people who've gotten jobs, people who've gotten through the soft skill training, who've done our courses, course feedback, everything is available here. So do subscribe to our social media handles so that you can get updates from our site. 
Okay, I'll just give a brief on NPTEL local chapter because I don't know how many of you are faculty from different colleges who are not a local chapter with us. So NPTEL works with about 4,500 colleges today across the country. And we have coordinators in each of these colleges who are called a single point of contact or SPOCs. And uh, through them is how we are so successful. So thanks to all the local chapter SPOCs, whoever is watching this workshop today, who is not watching the workshop today, whoever is anywhere, they are the champions for NPTEL within the colleges. Without them, I don't think NPTEL would have grown so much. So thanks to all the SPOCs of the local chapters. And I would like to just briefly say how you can become a local chapter if there's somebody watching who's not yet a local chapter. So to become an NPTEL local chapter, there is no money involved. There is no financial dealing. You just need to send us an email saying that you want to become a local chapter. There's a Google form on the website, fill it up. And we need a coordinator in your college who will be our local champion. So the head of the institution, the director, the principal, whoever has to send an email saying that we would like to become a local chapter and so and so will be the single point of contact for NP10. And that's all. Once we receive the email, we'll verify some details and we will make you a local chapter. So <clears throat> what? why should you become a local chapter? Can students and faculty from colleges who are not local chapters participate in NP10? Yes, totally. You can participate. You can be a free learner. You can uh, learn from our courses without belonging to a local chapter. But having a local chapter in a college is a big advantage. There are logins that the single point of contact or the SPOC has. One is a login on Swayam portal. One is a login on our NPTEL website. And here they get information related to enrollment, exam registration, the marks, the transcripts, the certificates. All of this is given to the SPOC directly that they can actually see and they can share with their management. <clears throat> also, the other benefits are if we don't have a center in your particular city, you can request for that. If they have more than 200 people writing exams, we can facilitate centers in your particular city. Uh, faculty can become mentors. You can follow the progress of your students in the colleges that you can do. Uh, another important thing I will say is we have CSR support from companies who also give us money to help students from economically weaker backgrounds to write exams. So this fee waiver we give only to local chapters. So if you're a local chapter and you have students who come from economically weak backgrounds, if they are doing NPTEL courses, writing exams, once they pass it, we will refund 50% of the fee to them based on the college's recommendation. So that is something that you can do. Also, all this data that we give to the SPOC can be directly shared with bodies such as NAC and NBA when they come for accreditation. And you can say that we are showing this data inside your dashboard. That has also been very helpful for colleges is what we came to know. These are local chapters that we have. This is the state-wise distribution. Uh, I think Maharashtra is the highest followed by Tamil Nadu. And of course, we have these. Telangana comes in maybe four, seventh position with 234 local chapters currently. Okay. Every semester, we also, we have some few local chapters outside of India and some countries. They're not very active, but yes, they do keep using our courses as they can. Uh, we also rate local chapters every semester based on the participation from their side in the particular semester. So how many people have become toppers, how many people have written exams, how many people have, uh, you know, uh, done well. Based on it, we also rank and rate the college local chapters and we uh, publish this list publicly on our website every semester. Other interactions with local chapter uh, people, we do soft skill training like I already spoke about it. Uh, we take help of people here to go to exam centers as our representatives. Uh, faculty can help in translation effect, efforts. And uh, yes, like I said, we rate it and we give recognition to the SPOC and the college also every semester. So these are certificates that we give them based on the formula that we have to the college and the SPOC. Yeah, these are other categories that we have on based on faculty participation, based on how local chapters improve semester after semester. There's a separate category for art, science colleges also. Yeah, Star LC who have been in the top 10 or top 100 over the last uh, four years. That's something that we have done. 
that's it as a presentation that we had today so i hope you learned about nptel about what we do here the nptel office the head office is in iit madras we have our head office here about 70 people work in nptel office in iit madras we have uh, smaller offices in iit kanpur iit kharagpur iit roorkee iit guwahati bombay delhi and iisc bangalore also and we all work together to keep this project going it's one of the most successful inter institutional project that eight institutes come together to work on this project and kind of run it without a break and to kind of offer 2000 courses that we have today that's what we want to say so my uh, suggestion and uh, uh, you can say maybe i'm old enough to advise all the young students out here also is try out nptel courses today go and go to swayam website join a few courses learn from it sample the videos there you may or may not be able to follow certain videos you may not like certain courses maybe some courses are difficult it's okay you can drop off it is not like a college course that once you join a course you have to be in that course you have to complete that course otherwise somebody will think something somebody will ask you something or maybe a paid fees that will get wasted there is nothing like that in an nptel course so you can join even five courses you can join even 10 courses and you can try out week one videos you can see what you are interested in and then shortlist it to maybe one or two courses follow it up see whether you able to do assignments maybe it even comes down to one course in a semester but follow it till the end do all the assignments watch all the videos register for the exam do the exam and become a topper in it i think that's something that is very very doable i hope you were able to get that message as we presented in the last one and a half hours that is what we were trying to tell you that don't be afraid that these courses are from iits i cannot do it it will be very difficult there are 15 lakh people who have written exams with us so far it is not like all of them are coming out from iits or they are all like very well accomplished they are all coming from highly studious backgrounds nothing like that they are also students just like you in any college what you need is the interest to study what you need is the motivation you have to put out time it is not like two days before the nptel exam let me study and get a certificate you will not get a certificate every week you have to watch videos every week you have to do the assignment then you can definitely get a certificate so you need hard work and it will pay off okay but it is not like i cannot do it there is no such thing as i cannot do an nptel course anybody can do an nptel course we showed you people from age 86 years doing nptel courses we showed you people from all nook and corners of the country doing nptel courses there is local language translation support of transcripts in some courses that will help you understand the subject better your faculty are there to help you if you do not understand something your friends are there to help you if you all join a course together discuss and forum is there ask questions ask doubts if you have something there but try out and learn something which is outside of your college curriculum today when companies are looking out for recruitment one of the things they see is okay your college degree is there apart from this what have you done that is something that all of them are looking at are you able to learn on your own are you able to study outside of college curriculum are you picking up any skills that are relevant for any job you might be trying for this is something that companies do look out for it's not just a resume saying bsc with this ba with this that might be one thing but then we look at okay what else what else what else there is something that all of us look out for when we are recruiting people so it might be good to have a few certifications to at least get your skills enhanced to learn what you are interested in to try and explore new opportunities that are there it is free there is no fee to learn you can download and watch the videos you can download and do the courses you can enroll in swayam courses and do it only the final exam has a 1000 rupees fee that also we are giving fee waivers if you are a local chapter so you can use that also you have to pay first get your exam done pass the course we will be able to help you with fee waivers on that front also so don't let money be a barrier don't let anything else be a barrier put in your time put in your effort learn from nptel get skilled and i hope you do much much better till then all the best and i hope that all of you do enroll to a course thank you thank you harti ma'am it was a nice session uh, now i'll continue the impact of being local chapter of nptel Uh, at our institute i am sharing the slide 
We have established the local chapter of NPTEL SWIM in December 2019. From that date, this is the start with the involvement of NPTEL. Total enrollment is around 1500, 1477. Student registered for examination 103, passed and received certificates 32. Although students have completed their assignments on time, mentorship certificate we have received at our center that is three. Faculty FDP certificate, faculty development program we have received the certificate eight. Spoke appreciation certificate we have received one. This semester, as far as January, April is concerned, we are doing the registration of the students at our local chapter. More than 200 students has been registered till today for the different different courses. As Bharti Vidya Pet deemed to be university has adopted MOOC and we found NPTEL being local chapter is comparatively easy. Since I'm associated with NPTEL being lo local chapter from last three years. So the execution being a part of NPTEL is comparatively easy and helpful for the institution, uh, faculty members, mentors, as well as students, because students uh, can uh, <clears throat> view their performance during the course anytime. And second thing, the course is mostly disciplined. So whatever the date deadline are given, the results are published, the assignments are submitted, and this is a good platform. And uh, there are some feedback as a local chapter. We are having the feedback from faculty. We are having the feedback from students. So one of our faculty, Dr. Savannah Mehman, has completed six FDP certificate, course completion certificate, as well as FDP from NPTEL, local chapter. So this is the feedback from the faculty. The another faculty, Dr. Deepali Gala, has also completed certain courses from NPTEL. And I'm sharing the feedback with all the people. We are having the practice to provide the course with mentorship to the students. So there are certain feedback from students. They have completed the course like Python for data science four week course. They found the course are easy, understandable, the materials provided, the content provided by the subject experts are really helpful for them. The courses build the confidence inside the students. They're adopting the area of the subject whatever knowledge they have gained, they are ready to prepare for interview on the basis of the outcome of that course, that is the learning from that material provided by NPTEL. So we found being a part of NPTEL, the implementation of MOOC as the motive of the SWAM is education anywhere at very uh, low cost, or you can say that no cost, for every student, I found, I feel very proud to be a part of NPTEL as a local chapter. So thank you, thank you very much. Now, moving forward, this is the question answer round session. People will have certain queries regarding establishment of local chapter, although Bharti Madam had covered very uh, details about how to establish a local chapter. It is very simple process to establish a local chapter. Once the local chapter is established, the spoke can observe the progress as a local chapter on the dashboard. Now I open the house for the question answer session. Faculty members, uh, the authority of the various institutes who are interested to establish the local chapter, they can raise the question. Then faculty members, if they are having the question, they can ask students 
If you are having any question, you can clear your doubts during the question answer session. Hello, sir. Uh, I think uh, there is no queries in the YouTube chat. Uh, one of the faculty has uh, messaged. See, uh, we are finding the courses on NPTEL is very good. Uh, but the NPTEL courses are targeted to postgraduate, undergraduate diploma courses. Faculty members, who has started their career, they have performed the PhD degree, they are enrolling the PhD degree. Uh, so some of the faculty members has asked or you can say suggest that if NPTEL can prepare or provide a domain on pre-PhD coursework related to somehow research methodology and all, it will be helpful for the new starting teachers as a faculty members. Pridarsani, madam. Yes, sir. Uh, I think there are no more queries, sir. Uh, you can continue with our uh, word of thanks. Okay, madam. So, audience, if you have any query, you can write or we can start with the vote of thanks. I'm observing on YouTube live chat. There is no question there. So now I'll call Professor Bhaiva Desai, madam, to give vote of thanks. Good morning all. It's my privilege to propose vote of thanks for this NPTEL session. It was really worth for all of us along with our students to attend the session. NPTEL is now become a need of an hour. As per the guidelines of ASAT and UGC, all the students, all the faculty members, they have to undergo a course like MOOC and that too offered through NPTEL. So once again, we are proud to have a NPTEL spoke at our institute. And I start proposing the vote of thanks for the today's session. Uh, I'm privileged to propose the vote of thanks. I'm Dr. Vaibhava, representing Bharti Vidyapit, Institute of Management, Kadambari, Kolhapur. I sincerely thank Bharti Madam, uh, today's speaker, for briefing us about NPTEL. I'm sure uh, it's a true inspiration to listen about the importance of uh, NPTEL courses from uh, your side. I thank uh, Ms. Uh, Kamla Madam, Ms. Priyadarshini Madam, and Ms. Divya Madam from NPTEL team. I would especially thank Bharti Vidya Pit dignitaries, Chancellor Dr. Shivajri Avakadam Sir, Secretary Dr. Vishwajit Kadam Sir, Vice Chancellor Dr. Vivek Saoji Sir, Dr. S.F. Patri Sir, Dr. Kirti Gupta Madam, Dr. Sachin Vernekar Sir, Dean Faculty of Management Studies, 
I thank Director of the Institute, Dr. Rajesh Kanthe sir, HOD, Dr. K. M. Alaskar sir, and Professor Nipesh Kumandrip sir uh, to organize this session for all of us. Once again, I thank, uh, yes, and uh, not to forget, last but the least, but they are the most important, our dear students and all the uh, listeners for today's session, all the attendants of today's session, I once again thank all of you. And with the permission of chair, I declare the session is over. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, sir. We can wind up the session, sir. Yes, madam. Uh, shall we wind up the sessions? Yes, yes, yes. You can wind up the session. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, team and PTL again. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Can leave the meeting. Thank you. Uh, studio team, you can start live. Studio team, you can start live.